Center bottom draining fish tanks are really popular, especially in commercial aquaculture facilities. Basically, all this consists of is a hole in the center of the bottom of a fish tank and water gravity feeds out of this hole. The most important part of a center bottom draining fish tank is how you plummet to the tank that comes after it. Let's go to the whiteboard so I can explain this a little bit more clearly. So here's your center bottom draining fish tank and here is a filter tank or whatever tank that you have next in your system. Typically that pipe is going to come out, come down, and you're gonna choose where on this next tank you're gonna put this pipe coming in. If you put it here, the only reason that I would do this and water flow would obviously come this way is if this is some type of media and you want that water to come up through the media and be filtered into your next tank. The catch here is that if you connect a center bottom draining fish tank to the bottom of another container, they essentially function as one container. So what that means is, let's say that this drain here, exiting this tank, and I'm gonna get rid of this uh, stuff here just so it doesn't confuse you. Let's say that this drain is this low. So when you're designing your system, this is where the concept of slope is really important. If you have a bottom to bottom connection, or even if this was connected here, it would still do this. This exit of this second tank would actually control the water height in the fish tank. So basically what that means is your water height would be here, max. So if you ever connect a center bottom drain like this, you need to make sure that your exit is up higher and that's going to allow your water height to be up there. You can also plumb it like this, and I would recommend, you see how I came up here at a 90 degree angle? You probably wanna use 245, so it's a more gradual bend. A lot of the time, stuff can get clogged in this right here. But if it comes up like this, your water height can be affected in a few different ways. If the exit hole on this tank is lower than this, say it's here, the max water height in your fish tank is going to be right here. So you wanna make sure that this, if this is lower, is at the height of your fish tank water. You can always make this exit hole a little closer, slightly lower than that, and that will help you regulate your fish tank. These tanks work great, and they produce a fair amount of suction. Sometimes I have run into issues with them when air somehow gets into the pipe that goes from the center bottom drain to the next tank. You also have to make provisions to keep fish out of going into that pipe if you want them to stay out. But all in all, it works well, it's simple, and typically these are used on fish tanks that have really, really large diameters.